Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of some cane reeds versus some synthetic reeds, and some very specific ones at that. I'm going to be working within the scope of the Diderio line of reserve classic reeds and the new Venn reeds. I was on the ground with Diderio basically when they started the Venn project because I, at the time, was a reserve method clinician and I got to try the reeds at the factory in California. And it was super fun, but I know that since they have released the reed, they have done a lot of revisions, there have been new generations coming out, and I just received a very special goodie box full of some reeds just for me. So while I'm no longer a Woodwind Method clinician, I still got friends in high places at Diderio, so they sent me this great box, goodie box of Venn products. So inside, I got a collection of Venn reeds, um, a combination of strength three and three and a half. And this is based on the recommendation of um, my friend who works there that because I play Reserve Classic three and a halfs and the mouthpiece I use is generally the Reserve Evolution, she thought that the Strength three and Strength three and a half would probably suit me best. In addition to those reads that were specifically for me, I also got a pair of sampler cases. So I know some of you have probably tried my Silverstein sample box uh, where you can order the read, synthetic reads, and pick whatever one you like, and then go order a fresh one from Silverstein and Company. And I'm about to set up something similar with the Dario. So they sent me in their very special box. These are also my favorite read cases, by the way. Um, a complete set of the soprano clarinet reads, and these are tenor saxophone reads, which will also work for bass clarinet. Um, I'll be trying those out later, but today I'm going to work specifically within the soprano clarinet reads. Uh, but yeah. If you're interested in trying these reads, I hope you'll reach out to me so we can talk about maybe getting a sample kit um, out to you or you can come make an appointment with me in person. So for this little experiment, we're going to use cane reads as our kind of control point for this like little scientific experiment. So I'm going to play a couple of scales and a Brahms excerpt with this cane reed, uh, which is a two week old broken in cane reed. It's a three and a half plus from the Diderio Reserve Classic line. So I'll play two F major scales and then the excerpt from Brahms. <laughs> switched over to the Ben Reed number one, which is one of the two strength threes. <laughs> trying that this strength three read is that I kind of like it. It's a little bit um, loud at first, like it was louder than I expected it to be. Um, and I'm a little concerned about the intonation of some of the high notes, but um, as you can see, once I sat on that low or that high F for a minute, I kind of figured it out and was able to adjust for without biting the read. I like the overall response and I also liked the ease of articulation on the strength three read. I'm a little surprised at how much I like a strength three considering three and a halves are my real preference of cane reed and I know that this is a synthetic reed and that can always be different. Um, but sometimes even in the summertime, I tend to veer more towards a three and a half plus or something a little bit harder. 
uh, and it's May right now and so it's a nice like warm humid day here in Missouri so yeah I'm kind of surprised that I like this three so much let's try the other three <laughs> these two string three reads are basically the same that means they're going to be really consistent sometimes even with synthetic reads we might order a handful of them and they don't all feel the same when they really should you think like something that's synthetically manufactured should feel the same alas it's not a world we live in so i really like the strength threes overall i think they're actually a pretty good comparison to my three and a half cane read um, from the Reserve Classic line. If you are more of a traditional player, you just play Reserve um, or Blue Box, whatever, then your strength preference might be a little bit different based on how those reads are cut. You might actually prefer to, like, if you're playing a read with a thinner blank, you might like the stronger strength Ven reads. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the three and a half, number one. <laughs> decent sound out of this three and a half but it feels a lot harder than the three to me um I don't know if you can hear I, I had some squeaky moments or some things that didn't speak kind of how I was anticipating them to speak and uh I think it's because there was a lot more pressure involved than I was expecting oh a half a strength can make such a big difference but let's move on and I'll try the other three and a half for you here is the second three and a half Ven Reed. <sighs> similar to the other three and a half but man okay they are so much harder <laughs> three and a half feels so much harder than the three um and I know that I know I heard it <laughs> that the intonation up high was better on the harder read but man I would have to really build some strength in my embouchure and I know like my embouchure is already pretty strong I'm a professional clarinet player um, so I don't know if I would really want to do that or maybe risk like hurting myself <laughs> based on that. I would rather just kind of find a solution for the softer read, quite frankly. So to be perfectly honest, I have been playing on these reads for about a week now to really get a solid understanding and sense of which uh, strength I prefer and what I prefer in general. I really like the strength three in the Ven read. I think they're very comparable to my preferred cane read, which is a three and a half of the Daddario Reserve Classic line. I think it'll be great to have um, two to four of these Ven reads around, you know, just in case. Or if I'm working on breaking in new reads and I, I just 
need something else to play on for the day, this will be a great option. The greatest virtue of a synthetic reed, of course, is that you always know what it's going to sound like. It is essentially unchanging compared to a cane reed that can change from day to day based on your climate, other environmental factors, how you store them, and how much you play on them, of course. In the wide world of synthetic reeds, which quite frankly isn't really that wide, we don't have that many options. I think Venn, especially the latest generation, is an extremely viable product. And if you are at all curious about it, I really recommend that you try them out. Just make sure that you go a little bit softer than what you would normally play as a cane reed. So I like three and a half cane reeds, and I liked this three more than I liked the three and a half. So I thought I'd also tell you a little bit about the presentation of the reeds, because this packaging is pretty slick, not gonna lie. So this box holds one reed, and it slides out like so, and there we have it. There is our reed. And you just pop it out of its little case. And this is just a chipboard box, so uh, if you wanted to get rid of it, you could totally recycle it. No big deal. Uh, there's no plastic within this big case, and honestly, these little plastic sleeves are probably fine for storing your synthetic reeds. I really recommend storing your cane reeds in something a little bit more like this, which coincidentally is full of synthetic reeds right now, uh, but something with slats in it for cane reeds to help them dry out better. But it's less important with a synthetic reed. Um, so I've been, I've been storing the synthetic reeds in the little sleeves that they come in and I haven't noticed any changes over the last week with them. The construction of the Venn reed is also unique uh, compared to other synthetic reeds. It is made from a combination of polymer fibers, resin, and cane particles, which gives it that kind of natural look. It almost looks just like a cane reed. It's kind of hard to believe that it's a synthetic reed at first glance. And of course, these reeds are cut with the same excellent technology that D'Addario is famous for in making the most consistent reeds on the market. The blank of the reed or this butt area of the reed seems to be a similar cut to the Reserve Classic, which probably uh, makes sense as to why I like them so much. They also have a similar tip cut to the Reserve Classic. So I can tell that they're trying to reach a more advanced um, American crowd with this reed. So that kind of concludes my thoughts on the Venn reed. Uh, slick packaging, beautiful reed, interesting manufacturing process with the combination of materials of polymer fibers, resin, and cane particles to make this very realistic looking synthetic reed that works very similarly and feels very similar to my cane reeds. Uh, I really recommend that if you are at all curious about the Venn reeds, especially if you play Diderio cane reeds, that you definitely give them a shot. If you're looking for a great place to buy them, you can definitely get some at the Clever Clarinetist shop. Just visit cleverclarinetist.com and I will hook you up. And of course, if you're in the Kansas City area, if you're nearby and would like to come down and try some out, I definitely have these trial kits for you. I am currently working on a way to do mail orders of the reed trials. So if you're interested in that, hang tight, it'll happen. I just have to figure out the best way to make it happen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.